Through the weather of area can change daily when seen in a long period of a general pattern of climate emerges. For example, through it may rain in some days of the tropics and other in the, the deserts. Rainfall is greater and more constantly in former than the later. This unusual weather patterns classify the world's six major climate regions. World Climate Classification Have you ever wondered why one area of the world is a desert, another a gra grassland, and another rainforest? Why there are different forests and deserts, and why there are different types of life in each area? And the answer is climate. Climate is characteristic conditions of the atmosphere near the Earth's surface at certain places on Earth. It's a long-term weather of that area, remember, at least 30 years. This includes the region's general pattern of weather conditions, seasons and weather extremes, like hurricanes, droughts or rainy periods. Two of the most important factors determining an area's climate are air temperature and precipitation. World biomes are controlled by climate. The climate of a region will determine what plants will grow there and what animals will inhabit. All three components, climate, plants and animals, are interwoven to create the fabric of the biome. The first one is the tropical climate, as I know, megathermal. So the tropical climates are found mainly around the equator, there are high temperatures and lots of rain through the year. Conditions too are very humid. Because of these climates provide plenty of heat and water, they are lush in vegetation and animal life. So the tropical climates are divided in tropical rainforest, have rain all year, hot and wet, tropical monsoon climates, 6 to 12 months of rain, and tropical savanna climates, less than 6 months of rain. So let's discuss one of them. The first one the tropical rainforest climate. Rainfall is heavy uh, in all months, as you can see in the climograph. The total annual rainfall is often more than 250 centimeters, it's about 100 inches. There are seasonal differences in monthly rainfall, but temperatures of 27 degrees Celsius, around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, mostly stay the same. Humidity is between 77 and 88 percent. High surface heat and humidity cause cumulative clouds to form early in the afternoons most every day. The climate on the eastern side of the continents are influenced by maritime tropical air masses. These air masses flow out to the moist western sides of the oceanic high pressure cells and bring lots of summer rainfall. The summers are warm and very humid. It also rains a lot in the winter. So the average temperature is 18 degrees Fahrenheit at Celsius, annual precipitation around 103 degrees, uh, inches, latitude ranges between 10 degrees south to 20 degrees north. In the global position you can see in the map the Amazon Basin, Congo Basin, the Equatorial Africa, East Indies from Sumatra and Nova Guinea. So this Climograph shows the brevis in Brazil, as you see the latitude, and you see the annual precipitation is very high. The temperature almost is a flat land. One major characteristic you have, as you see in the picture, is a very dense forest. The next one, the tropical monsoon type of climate. The tropical monsoon and trade winds, literal climate, major climate type, type of the Köppen classification, characterized by small annual temperature ranges, high temperatures and plentiful precipitation, often more than wet equatorial or AF type of climates in annual total. Despite their resemblance to wet equatorial climates, tropical monsoon and trade wind littoral climates exhibit a short dry season, usually in the low sun or winter season and the highest temperature generally occur at the end of this clear spell. These climates are 
found primarily in the southern and southeastern Asia and have the combined abbreviation AM in the Copenhagen Pole system. The monsoon climate beyond the equatorial region between 10 degrees and 25 degrees north and south of the equator. The countries are along the coastal regions of southwest India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Myanmar, southwestern Africa, French Guiana, and northeast and southeastern Brazil. As you can see, how much the precipitation is concentrated in Mangalore, India in the short period of time, go almost from zero to very high precipitation. Notice the picture where you see the uh, trees distribution is not dense as the tropical rainforest because you have a long period of the dryness. The next one is the tropical savanna. So a seasonal change occurs between wet tropical and air masses and dry tropical air masses. As a result, there is a very wet season and a very dry season. It during the dry season and gets a little cooler during this dry season, but will become very hot just before the wet season. So the temperature range is about 16 degrees Celsius. The annual precipitation, you see how much less is, is 0.01 inches. All months less than 0.1 inches. The latitude range now between 15 to 25 degrees north and south. You can find in India, Indochina, West Africa, Southern Africa, South America and north coast of the Aust Australia. So, <clears throat> as you can see, the precipitation very little and the picture shows much less dense uh, trees as you can see in the picture. Um, that's the main characteristic you have in the tropical savanna climate. 